Uh, smooth muscles, they're located in different parts of the body. One is in the integumentary system, if you remember from chapter 5. Uh, the erector pili muscles uh, that are attached to the uh, hair and that can cause goosebumps uh, during fear, uh, for example. Um, I don't care much about it. If you really care a lot, you can go and watch uh, the Goosebumps movie. Um, and uh, I'm joking, guys, okay? Uh, the other one is uh, about the blood vessels. So the blood vessels are covered by epithelial tissue, but also by smooth muscles. So that uh, that's important for the blood pressure. Also for the airways, the amount of oxygen that is needed. Um, so if, you, if you're exercising, uh, then uh, the muscles relax, and more oxygen enters the airways. If you're uh, relaxing, uh, then uh, that those muscles contract so less air goes inside. Uh, it is uh, in the reproductive system it can carry a sperm or ova and in the glandular system it can uh, contract and eject um, secretions, exocrine secretions. In the digestive system it carries uh, or moves uh, food and feces and the urinary system it can move urine uh, it also has uh, sphincters. Uh, these sphincters are like gates. These are circular muscles that prevent movement of uh, um, different material from one area to another area. For example, movement of uh, urine um, uh, from the urinary bladder to outside. So then um, that way when you're consciously aware uh, that the bladder is full, um, then the person can go and, and, and urinates uh, and then that can relax the, the, those muscles. Um, so um, those are preventing uh, movement of uh, urine or feces or food from one area to another area. So the smooth muscle is spindle shaped, uh, it's not striated, it's not under your control, so involuntary. It has only one nucleus uh, and um, it has uh, Taken ten filaments, uh, but uh, you can see that the, 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 they are not close to each other, so they are in random locations. And the ten filaments are attached to these uh, structures, proteins. They are called dense bodies. And the uh, mice cells usually have a lot of heads because they are not very close to each other, so that's why they have more heads uh, during contraction. It can attach uh, the mm, uh, smooth muscles. Uh, they don't have tendons uh, or aponeurosis, it means they are not uh, attached to other muscles or they, they are not attached to the bones. So um, here that you can see that uh, uh, the dense bodies are still there um, and they are connected with each other by intermediate filament that's called desmin. Okay, uh, they are connected to each other, okay. Uh, and uh, also uh, that's inside, so outside the, these dense bodies are connected to each other too and when there is uh, uh, muscle contraction uh, then um, they all contract so these uh, contraction from one uh, cell it, it goes to another cell to neighboring cells and the whole cell will contract uh, I mean the whole tissue can contract at the same time so um, uh, if you remember it, as I said in a previous slide, in the dense body inside, you have the uh, thin filament. So uh, that is uh, when they're attached uh, with the thick filament, then it can cause contraction. So uh, when the calcium enters, that calcium attaches to calmodulin, and the stuff, uh, troponin that was in the skeletal muscle, this is calmodulin, and that will activate myosin uh, light chain kinase, that will break down ATP and the muscle will look like this. Um, 